For this project, we're going to use a piece of 1x6 pine. You want to start by laying out the shape of your boat. A good shape is kind of the shape of an iron. Then we'll head to the table saw and cut it to the rough length. Then over at the band saw, we'll angle our table to make the cut. Somewhere between 20 and 30 degrees worked for mine. Then just go ahead and cut your boat out. Now the trick to this is to cut the right side of the boat from the back to the front and the left side of the boat from the front to the back. This gives you your nice even V at the bottom. And we're going to head to the sander and clean up all of the sharp edges to make it safe for kids to play with. Then at the table saw, we'll cut our dowel rods to their rough length. With all your pieces cut, this is what it should look like. Next, we'll go ahead and mark the center for the dowel rod locations. Then at the drill press, we'll go ahead and drill a hole for our top dowel. And then while you hold the piece down, you can drill a hole for the back dowel. Back to the table saw, we'll cut a groove in our top dowel, and that's just to help hold the lip of the balloon to keep it from slipping off. and then back to the sander to clean up the dowel rods. With everything ready, you can go ahead and glue in your top dowel rod first, let the glue dry, and then your rear dowel rod, and let the glue dry on it as well. Then we started by drilling our jet nozzle hole from the bottom dowel to the top dowel, and then drilling down to the top dowel to make the holes meet. After that's done, just give it a final hand sanding to prepare it for a finish. With your project finished, now you can give it a couple of coats of polyacrylic, sanding them between each coat. One thing I wanted to add is you can see where those pennies are. What I did is I drilled a hole and then epoxy four pennies on each side and this just helps weight the back down to keep the balance right. 